Hi, I've had a few requests to give a tour of my studio, although I chafe a little bit at the idea of calling that because I've never actually worked in a place that was designed to be a studio. I've always had to make do with whatever I could get. In this case, I think in this house, it was intended to be a family room, but it's pretty good size. It's about uh, 20 by 35 feet. And uh, I lucked out in that uh, it came with skylights. It used to have a ceiling fans, but I took those down and in their place, I substituted some color corrected fluorescent fixtures so that as the sun goes down every day, the uh, fluorescent fixtures uh, take up the slack and are more or less the same temperature that I had when the sun was out. When people ask me about my studio space, I think they always assume that as a working professional, I've had something made or uh, had something built for me. But the truth is I've always worked in uh, whatever space was available to me. And in the last 10 years, I've I've worked in car garages, uh, dining rooms, family rooms. Um, uh, spent uh, 10 months when we were between houses in a rented industrial space, uh, which was great actually, there's plenty of room. Uh, high ceilings are a plus because the further away you can get your artificial lights from your easel, uh, the more diffuse the light is gonna be and it won't cast shadows on your artwork while you're trying to work. Now in this house where we've been uh, four or five years now, uh, we're lucky in that it's just my wife and I here and we're both working artists and we share this studio space, which as I said, was originally a family room. But the house itself is much bigger than two people really need. And we make use of that uh, extra space by using spare bedrooms as offices and uh, computer workstations and storage rooms. And most of our garage has been transformed into a workshop for uh, making frames and panels and uh, spraying and doing things that otherwise we wouldn't want to do in our living space. As far as the furniture and the, uh, the fixtures we have, these are just things that I've accumulated over a lifetime. I try different things and whatever works I keep and whatever doesn't work or is not working so well, I put aside or I give away. I've had a bunch of different easels and drawing tables and things. And the setup I have now is pretty much the same thing that I've had for most of the last 10 years. So let's have a look at that. It's pretty simple. I just have uh, my palette here on the left and it's sitting on top of a Craftsman tool cabinet, which works really great. And uh, my easel, uh, the carriage portion of this, the part that's holding the the uh, workpiece is taken off of a best easel that I used for several years. But in place of the base, I've, I've uh, essentially attached it to this old uh, drawing table mechanism. And it's uh, nice because it's got this counterweight mechanism on it that you can just lock or release. And when it's released, it just floats free and you can put it at whatever angle you like, which is really nice. And over here, sitting on top of a clockmaker's repair bench, I have my uh, monitor and keyboard uh, for my Mac computer. It's an old Mac computer tower that I've had for many years. Uh, used it uh, probably 15 years ago when I was doing illustration. And it won't take any of the new software or systems, but it'll run this old version of Photoshop and. Here, that's all I need for it to do, so it works out just fine. Also, I can uh, cable to an opaque projector out of the back of this machine and use that to project onto the canvas when uh, that's helpful. Also, I have iTunes running on this machine and it's wired over to a stereo receiver so I can listen to whatever I feel like at any given moment. This Craftsman cabinet actually works out really well Obviously, uh, if it's strong enough to support boxes full of tools, it's strong enough to support the things I use for painting. So top drawer, I've just got uh, all my tubes that I normally use, and then further down, 
I've got some colors that I rarely use and and uh, some acrylics and uh, brushes and things like that and that has really worked out just great for me. So that's my setup here. My advice to you if you're trying to set up your own workspace don't worry too much if you don't have the ideal space or the ideal lights or equipment or easel or tabaret or any of this other stuff. It's not that important. The important thing is to spend the time and the concentration and the discipline that it will take to make yourself better. That's what really counts in the end, not that you've collected all the paraphernalia. See you next time.